of the last two weeks obviously tell us that this project couldn't have been launched at a better time. There are many compelling facts and experiences that indicate quite clearly that something is happening. Therefore, I believe that this is only the beginning of a long, but hopefully elucidating journey for all of us. And we're really looking forward to continuing our um, collaboration with the partners with ATPS, where we've been working on the African Sustainability Hub, um, with RCMRD, where we worked on, we're working on the upcoming science policy dialogue, and then lastly with EGAD, where we'd like to work on resilience together. For this project, uh, we want to bring on board our experiences that we've uh, what we've done so far in these countries. Uh, we've worked closely with the farmers, uh, with the policy makers, uh, governments, and uh, we know that we'll be able to achieve a lot at the end of the day. It's really to uh, pledge commitment and support from ICPAC. We know there are activities that ICPAC will be leading. We request the entire team, the project team and the stakeholders to observe three things. One, quality. Two, timeliness. Value. Our objective is to strengthen the capacity of countries and uh, to uh, provide information to country for uh, in all aspects of uh, food security. We also need to have a look at the acquisition of uh, and exploitation of technologies for climate and environment monitoring. This project is being financed from uh, Climate Special Fund, we call it CDSF, which is housed in the African Development Bank and uh, is an initiative between the uh, three partners, uh, the African Union Commission, the, the bank itself, and the UN uh, Economic Commission for Africa. The findings from this particular project we are launching today will inform policy recommendations by equipping African stakeholders with adequate climate information and capacities needed to promote development pathways that are climate resilient at institutional, national and regional levels. We at the ATPS like working with like-minded institutions and that is why you can see the partnership uh, we have on this project is very vast based on specific capa capabilities and the institutional mandate from all the participating uh, institutions. The resilience to climate impact is going to depend on the socio-political economic information. The overall goal of the project is to strengthen the capacities of relevant stakeholders in five countries to deepen the understanding and to deploy appropriate information, climate information and best practices to inform decision making. By 2015, we came up with this app that can now answer a lot of questions, including supporting farmers and pastoralists with information that can guide them on the type of crop or crops that can suit a particular soil. Because the app will tell you the name of the soil, where you are, tell you about the temperature, tell you about average uh, uh, humidity, tell you about um, rainfall, tell you about the number of year, uh, days of uh, agricultural productivity that, can, that soil can support based on prehistoric data, because we have data running up to 100 years. Uh, that we have used to develop uh, this uh, uh, app. So my, my question was, do you have a mechanism to, to maintain it, to keep it up to date, so that at any point, maybe after the two years, we can still continue to get up to date uh, uh, climate information? So we want to carry it on so that every time people can come there is active. So it's a long-term project and it's something we are dedicated uh, to. Is there a plan maybe under this particular project where you also link uh, farmers with where to assess seed? Uh, yeah, assuming they use the app and says, okay, the type of uh, crops that is fit for this soil. Yeah, so, so we, we have not 
done that now. This is exciting. Thank you very much. What we have done now is to link uh, farmers to crops um, in terms of which crops are um, ideal for specific uh, types of lands. So, so that is something we have taken note of in terms of um, the seeds. So at this juncture, I would like to take the, that uh, big honor being given by Ernest and the Director ATPS to declare this project uh, officially launched. So thank you very much.